The view from Lenong viewpoint is absolutely spectacular. Marakele National Park is a mere two and a half hour drive from Pretoria or Johannesburg, making it the ideal weekend getaway. The Waterberg biosphere covers approximately 650,000 hectares, with roughly 10% of that lying within the Marakele National Park. The park is split into two sections, with all the dangerous animals located in the eastern section only. We chose to camp at Bontle camping site, no fences required, as the animals in the western section typically don't eat humans. The friendly nature of this side of things allow for pathways to bird hides and unfenced picnic sites. Exploring this area results in sightings of antelope, zebra, wildebeest and many other friendly animals. It has been a very wet summer and, true to form, our first night delivered with a thunderstorm. However, the second evening blessed us with clear and vibrant skies. Perfect weather conditions to find the creepy crawlies that we are always looking for. Okay, fantastic. So, so what we've got here is a, uh, what I presume is a box scorpion. But I'll confirm. And Piero is doing well in <laughs> picking it up. <laughs> um, you can see that it, it it will not be very venomous. Um, that thin tail tells the story. So, well done, Piero. Good find. Nice. Nice. How long have we been trying? <laughs> <laughs> For two days. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, it's been how many trips? Oh, that yeah, we've yeah, been no, for months, years. Yeah, yeah. and um, at long last, look at this beautiful tiger snake. It's an eastern tiger snake. Um, what a beauty it is. Right there, caught this lovely snake while he was attending to um, some things. <laughs> 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 so, uh, the tell us about of, the, the call snake. of nature. Actually. The call of nature. Yeah, and it uh, has it tried to to bite you yet? Yeah, it did. It tried to just chew on me. Yeah, but uh, it didn't get a bite then at the end of the day. No. They can be quite bitey, and they are venomous, but their venom has basically no effect on humans. So even if it were to bite me, I just gently persuaded to let go. Um, and there would be no ill effects whatsoever. Just look at it. Oh, what a lovely snake. Um, and they are quite widespread in the eastern parts of South Africa. You get another species, which is in the dry western parts, but this is the eastern tiger snake. Mm. As you can see, it's calmed down completely now. And what a beautiful snake. As you can see, it gets the name tiger snake from these um, tiger patterns and, and they're typically orange like this one. This one has got a slightly faded color but the head is quite nice looking on this specific one. So. Hmm. Beautiful. It is and all it wants to do is go to the GoPro <laughs> and get away obviously. <laughs> Travelling to the eastern section where the dangerous game resides requires going through an underpass and pressing the bring on the fun times button that opens the door to big five experiences. Check out Tlopi Tented Camp. It promises amazing stays right on water's edge. Some animals will not eat you, but they have pointy bits that can cause a world of pain. You would not want 
this big fella to stand on you. However, he was in no mood to stand around, not even for some camera FaceTime. One of the main attractions in this park is the breeding colony of Cape Vulture that you can find here. Okay guys, quick fact. The Cape Vulture is the heaviest vulture in Africa, weighing up to 11 kilograms after feeding. Its wingspan, take this, its wingspan, 2.5 meters. <laughs> yeah, it's not only vultures that you find here. But butterflies as well. The Kransberg widow or Dingana Jerena, I don't know how you say that, but is also prevalent in this area. It is only found in the Kransberg mountain near Tabazimbi and nowhere else in the world. Imagine that! Vultures and scarce butterflies, rare butterflies. Come to Marakele for it all. After being amazed by the scenic beauty offered by Lenong viewpoint, we headed back down to lower ground, enjoying the abundance of water features along the way. Back in big five country. Piero, we're gonna see some lions today. I hope so too. Finding lions in Marakele is possible, but due to the denseness of the vegetation, it is not always a given. So we were super excited to find this pride of lions finishing off the last of their recent catch.